Joseph Beach, and welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Tisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. American singer songwriter Summer Walker, very talented. I personally actually listen to some of her songs, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Brags about her planning to continue creating fatherless children. And what I mean by that are her creating broken homes. And the definition that I'm using fatherless is they don't have the privilege of having their fathers in their lives as a husband consistently or a male figure consistently. You can't possibly continue the cycle willingly of being a baby mama proudly and not be selfish and there not be something seriously wrong with you in your personal life. And guys, I think this topic is very important seeing that we just had a viral video of a teacher talking about why teachers are quitting because young girls and boys don't have proper manners. And the truth is a lot of those kids don't have fathers who are usually the disciplinarian in the family. But when it comes to Summer Walker, she obviously doesn't care about any of that. No more waste of time, let's get it. But the craziest part would be when I see somebody be like, oh, you are your third baby daddy. And people just talk about me having kids like they were accidents. I just seen somebody say some crazy. Hmm? They were never accidents. They were all on purpose. And some of get pregnant on purpose. You hear her, she said, they were never accidents. It was all on purpose. Every time I got pregnant, it was on purpose. To me, that is insane and very, very selfish because we know the stats when it comes to single mother households. You're putting those children at a disadvantage and you don't care. You don't care. Let's keep watching. I have enough money to not have a baby if I didn't want it. Yep, I gotta do this tour first. I gotta do this tour first. And I'm hoping and praying I have twin boys again after tour. That would make my life. Like, that would really make my life. So she's talking about hoping she has twin boys after tour. These are the conversations that need to be had because young people are looking up to a woman like Summer Walker and they're thinking, well, why not? Why can't I do the same thing? She's saying that would make her life. It's all about her. There's something seriously wrong with just how quickly modern women are so willing to be single mothers and then cry and complain about it on social media. Yes, I it just, I don't okay. know. I've been trying to be quiet. It just be yes. so odd to me when I just yeah. see people say like, oh, she's going to have four no, kids. She's no, going to no, have five no, kids. No, she's no, going to no, have six no, kids. No, yes, I really no, do want six kids. No, um, I'm Kiki Wyatt. It's like, I really hope I do. But I'm such a boy mom. I want all boys. They're so cute. Oh my God. I'm gonna grab my heart. They're so stinking cute and funny. And you know what's weird about this is I think the whole movement of like rappers, you know, the young boys trying to have as many kids as possible. Or well, no, it wasn't young boy. It was um some other rapper. I get his name. Um, even Nick Cannon. You know, out here creating children. And this is not me justifying it. Or at least you can look at someone like Nick Cannon and say, well, it seems like he makes an effort. Or at least someone can say, can say, because I don't think that's right either. But they, at least they can say that he posts these photos of him trying to be there for his kids at holidays and, and um, being there for his kids. I think it would be difficult to be there for all those kids overall, regardless. And I don't think other people should think they should do that, especially single women who want to promote this. And this 
chick's case, she's picking rappers and men who probably don't want to be fathers and keeping their children and then getting online and bragging about it, forgetting that she has a lot of young women looking up to her. That's irresponsible. It's like this recent study I saw on high earning women who are college educated. It talks about how they will be first to talk about how they don't need a man. But as soon as they have a baby, they're most likely going to marry the guy who they're with. But they're the loudest. But as soon as they get pregnant, they're more likely to marry and find a partner to help with that child. Who You know who's not complaining? The women who are struggling financially. The women who are near the poverty line. Let's keep listening. Why are y'all confused? Oh, I guess some people just got on. Okay. I cannot have no more babies till I go on tour. I don't want to... Um, I don't want to tour pregnant. That's not fun. I've done that before. It really sucks. I'm not pregnant. Oh my God. I don't even know where y'all be getting. But after tour, hopefully, I'll have twin boys again. I'm going to pray two stinkers. But I'm not having no more kids after 30. I just, I'm just not. So I got like two years to, to get it cracking. Oh my God. Why would somebody say that? Somebody just said, what if the rest of your kids end up being all girls? Go to hell. Why would you say that? Another reason why you just can't feel bad for a good number of these chicks who are out here struggling. Let's check out some of these comments. Because one thing that I saw that was good to see were other women holding Summer Walker accountable, like this commenter, this woman, and I've actually reacted to some of her content from TikTok on the coffee pot. She says, having kids is one thing. Having kids with every dude you date is the part that's concerning. Somebody else here says, y'all too comfortable creating these broken homes on purpose. Another person here added, I'm such a boy mom. I want all boys. And you have a daughter, this comment. She says, here's another comment from a gentleman that says, I mean, if she want to have multiple kids by multiple men, that's on her. Somebody else, she says, we starting not to like you. Go back to being quiet. <laughs> another comment here says, having a daughter and saying you're really a boy mom because they're so stinking cute was mad cringe to hear this comment. She says, here's somebody else who says, creating broken homes on purpose is wild as F. Somebody else here added, love her as an artist, but as a person, she's so cringe. These chicks, she doesn't realize, and I don't think Summer Walker even knows this. You'd be surprised, guys, why certain artists don't talk. They're just, they're naive. I don't think she knows that her audience, who are single mothers, don't want to be single mothers. They don't. They're not sitting here thinking of how many kids they could have outside of wedlock. They're desperate for husbands, even though they don't claim that they are. They want men. They need help. They're struggling. Here's another comment that says, collecting kids like Infinity Stones. And somebody else here says, just say you want to have a child with Meech and go. That's the guy she's dating right now. Somebody else here says, just don't come crying to us after the next baby daddy, please. Listen, as always, I'm curious to know, what do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy a recent video I also released titled The Fatherless Crisis Exposed. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.